I did not think he could go any lower. I did not think he could offend me any further. Dr. Kersanya Wise Whitehead is a Loyola University, Maryland, African-American studies professor and host of Today with Dr. K. She says she didn't think the president's words could surprise her anymore. Then came the reference to Haiti and African countries as s-holes. He's spewing out hatred. He's spewing out anger. He's spewing out meanness. He's spewing out unkindness. And people are following his lead. And we have become a joke to the entire world um, because we put this man in office and in a sense we have emboldened his ideas. Congressman Elijah Cummings was quick to denounce the president's so-called remarks, tweeting, I condemn this unforgivable statement and this demeaning of the presidency. Mayor Catherine Pugh weighed in as well. This country is inclusive, it is diverse, and that's not the kind of language we expect to hear from the president. And so this is not Democrat or Republican or any other uh, party. This is about what is right for the citizens of, of our country. Dr. Wise Whitehead says now is the time to plan for change. We have to get ready and get busy because there's another election coming, there are midterm elections that we should be very concerned about. We should be thinking about 2020 as something down the road. And we should be thinking about what type of nation we want to live in and what we're going to have to do to repair our nation once he leaves office. Republican Congressman Andy Harris issued this statement on the matter. I wasn't in the room and I don't know what was or wasn't said. But I would hope that any president would minimize his or her use of profanity. But even if the president did use profanity, he would be joining Presidents Obama, Clinton, Reagan, Carter, Ford, Nixon, Johnson, and Truman, all of whom used profanity occasionally, some of whom even used it to describe their political opponents. Lisa Robinson, WBAL TV 11 News. Lisa, thank you. And the debate over the president's reported incendiary comments took center stage in the state Senate today. Two state senators sparred over whether it's appropriate to respond to the president's comments on the Senate floor. Okay. Mr. President, the, the point of personal privilege is to address the business of the citizens of the state of Maryland she, as senator, expressed through the legislation. The senator feels her constituents were uh, defamed and uh, she has an opportunity to say something. Senator Cheryl Kagan denounced the president's comments saying, quote, I implore you, Maryland is better than what we are seeing right now in the White House. Please join me in condemning the language, the disrespect, the hatred, and yes, the racism that we continue to see coming out of this administration. And that